Conference opener for USF after the bye week, taking on a Memphis team that's undefeated and winners of 11 in a row. So flow Friday night for the Bulls. Memphis was stopped on its opening drive, and Sean Price is going to come up with a nice catch here, 27 yards down to the two-yard line, and that catch, the 60th of his career, ties the USF all-time record for a tight end. Strong stable of running backs, of course, for USF, and early on it was Darius Tice punching it in. Now Tice only finished with 36 yards, but the big touchdown right there. Bulls go up on top 7 to nothing after a 12-play, 95-yard opening drive in a little over five minutes. This is the second USF drive, and how about Marlon Mack bursting through and just an arm tackle away from maybe taking it to the house. Mack finished with 107 on the ground. That led to a USF field goal, 10 to nothing. Bulls at that point. But then the potent Memphis offense answered back just two minutes later. Paxton Lynch finds his running back, Sam Kraft, for 20 yards. Lynch had 305, two touchdowns passing, and it was a 10 to 7 halftime lead. Now we're into the third quarter, and the Bulls defense stout all night. Tayshawn Whitehurst, 14 yard loss. He's going to throw back Lynch. That sack, the fourth of his career and first of the season. Tigers did convert a 49 yard field goal to tie the game. They added on another touchdown, and then with Memphis leading 17 to 10, this might have been the backbreaker right here. 55 yards, Dorlin Dorsius slips out of the backfield, breaks free, and momentum's gonna carry him all the way down into the end zone, 24 to 10 at that point. USF's gonna answer right back late in the game. Quinton Flowers, 23-yard touchdown pass to freshman Kano Dillon. How about the snag? One-handed, he powers his way into the end zone. That would be the final touchdown of the game. Bulls make it interesting at the end, but fall 24 to 17. They're back in action Saturday at 3.30 against Syracuse.